behalf of Physics Department of Marian Senior Secondary School, Kaltipadi, I, Nancy Maria Manu of Class 9C, welcome you to the commemoration program on the first atomic bombardment event in history on two Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, on 6th and 9th August 1945 an unforgettable nightmare in the world history ever since. A picture worth a thousand words. And only a creative mind can set those thousand words in a single picture. Here comes our Achyut Chankar A of class 12 to B with his poster design in remembrance of the unforgettable events in history. Next, Kirtana PB of class 8A with a poem in Malayalam. Written by our student Ashwadi Ramasubramaniam of class 12C, which depicts the pangs of the souls in those cities. Hiroshima. <laughs> Ayran Suryan Marvidarunna Taba Mode Vanu Padicha Visha Golangal Idinadangiya Jiva Talangal Vingalai Vidum Balai Venda Venda Yini Uru Rekta Bhumi Venda Venda Yini Uru Hiroshima Villari Pravugal Pari Nadakuna Sundara Lokaman in Napilasham Sundara Lokaman in Napilasham. Thank you, Kirtana, for wonderfully reciting. And of course, it was beautifully written by Ashwati. We all like stories, right? Here comes Abigail MS of Class 8C with the story behind the making of origami paper cranes. Good morning, Ohio Gisimus. Do you know what is this? This is an origami paper crane called Orisuru in Japanese, which is considered as a symbol of peace. Origami paper cranes are found in all parts of the world these days, not just in their Japanese homeland. But how did they find their way into the world's heart as a symbol of peace? Let me narrate the story behind this. Ako Sasaki was a Japanese girl who became a victim of the atomic bombing in Hiroshima when she was just two years old. Though severely irradiated from radiation, she survived for another 10 years, becoming one of the most widely known hibakusha, meaning survivor of the bomb. She is remembered through the story of thousand paper cranes which she folded before her death, that symbolizes hope and harmony. Her hope for peace and courageous strength against her illness. It is an inspiration for all the people across the world, including us. To this day, in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, Sadako's statue is decorated with thousands of paper cranes being brought and sent into Hiroshima. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail. Now, we move on to a speech in Malayalam, which is delivered by Hanna Maria Jacob of Class 9C. Welcome, Hanna. Manisha Srishti Aya, Oru Valya Durandathinde Orma. Adana Hiroshima Naga Saki Dinengal. Nishkalangiraya Manisha Dame, Samrajitam Vahicha, Adishatvam. Random Loga Mahayudatil, Melkai Nedanivendi, American Aratia is some higher than above. Iretti Tolati Napatienja, August Arnum on Padimayan America Day, Manhattan Project Elder Micha, Uranium Boom Bugalaya, Little Boyana, Logata Adi Mai Vashi Kepeta Anubo. Dashilak Shakanakina, General de Jeven, Upper Heri Kepeta than Naduka, Mar the Rimunba, Iretti Tolati Napatienja, August on Madam Tedi. Fat man in the plutonium bomb again, Nagasaki, Nama Visheshamaki. Marichavere Kal, Marnate, Muga Mugam Kanda, Yuva Talamuragal, Innum, Anna of Viganathinde, Anandara Felangal, and Pavikino. E Anna of Viganate, Adijivicha, 
ഒരേ ഒരു സസ്യവർഗമാണ് ഗിൻകോ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവയെ ലിവിംഗ് ഫോഴ്സസ് എന്നറിയപ്പെടുന്നു മനുഷ്യരാശിക്ക് തന്നെ ഒരിക്കലും മറക്കാനാവാത്ത ഈ ബോംബ് വർഷത്തിന്റെ ഫലമായി ഓഗസ്റ്റ് പതിനാലാം തീയതി ജപ്പാൻ അമേരിക്കയുടെ മുൻപിൽ കീഴടങ്ങി ഓരോ യുദ്ധവും രൂപം കൊള്ളുന്നത് മനുഷ്യ മനസ്സിലാണ് ഇതുകൊണ്ട് നാം ഒന്നും നേടുന്നില്ല സ്വത്തും ജീവനും സാമ്പത്തിക നിലയും മനുഷ്യ വിഭവശേഷിയും താറുമാറായി പോകുമെന്ന് മാത്രം ഇനിയൊരു യുദ്ധമുണ്ടായാൽ അതിന്റെ അനന്തര ഫലങ്ങൾ താങ്ങുന്നതിനുള്ള കരുത്ത് പ്രപഞ്ചത്തിനുണ്ടാകുകയില്ല കാരണം എല്ലാ രാജ്യങ്ങളും ആണവ മേഖലയിൽ സ്വയം ശക്തി പ്രാപിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ യുദ്ധമോ ആക്രമണങ്ങളോ ഒന്നിനും പരിഹാരങ്ങളല്ല എന്നും ശാന്തിയും സമാധാനവുമാണ് എല്ലാ മനുഷ്യരും ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് എന്ന സന്ദേശമാണ് ഹിരോഷിമ നാഗസാക്കി ദിനാചരണങ്ങൾ വ്യക്തമാക്കുന്നത് നന്ദി നന്ദി ഹന നല്ല വാക്കുകൾക്ക് മൂവിംഗ് ഓൺ ടു എ ക്വിസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഐ വെൽക്കം ദ ക്വിസ് മിസ്ട്രസ് ശ്രേയ സൂസൻ ഫിലിപ്പ് ഓഫ് ക്ലാസ് ടെൻ സി ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഐ ശ്രേയ സൂസൻ ഫിലിപ്പ് ഓഫ് ക്ലാസ് ടെൻ ബി ആൻഡ് ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ആസ്ക് എ ഫ്യൂ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ഹിരോഷിമ നാകാസാക്കി ഇൻസിഡന്റ് മൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് വാട്ട് വാസ് ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് ദ കോൺഫറൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ട്രുമാൻ സ്റ്റാലിൻ ആൻഡ് ചർച്ചിൽ അറ്റൻഡ് ടു ഡിസൈഡ് വാട്ട് ടു ഡു അബൌട്ട് ദ വാർ Potsdam conference My second question is what type of plane dropped the atom bomb on the two cities B29 My third question is what was the name of the plane that dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima I know the answer the name of the plane was Enola Gay right My fourth question is who flew the plane that dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima I know the answer is Paul Devitt My fifth question is who was the emperor of Japan during the World War 2 Hirohito My sixth question is what was the name of the atom bomb that dropped on Hiroshima Yeah I know it it is little boy isn't it Seventh question is what was the name of the atom bomb that dropped on Nagasaki I know the answer fat man Thank you Shreya for the interesting quiz session After Achyut Here comes Sanjana Matthew Kandathil of 11B with her picture to draw the picture of the pain of that historical nightmare in the map of world's conscience. Have you ever met or heard about any speaking monuments? There are and they are the Hibakushas. With more about it, let's listen to the discussion between Harry Thomas Jacob and Sanjana Matthew Kandathil. Welcome Sanjana and Harry. Hi Harry. Hi Sanjana, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. So what's up? August has come so as a remembrance of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah, truly. Sanjana, can you tell me a Japanese word which was widely used in Kerala related to the word environment day in June? Yes, Harry. Isn't it Miyawaki? The man-made forest which can be placed in towns or villages or anywhere we like. which was introduced by the famous Japanese botanist Akira Miyawaki who is a Nobel Prize laureate we have one in Trivandrum too like Miyawaki do you know any other interesting terms which you all should know and be aware of especially in these days of Hiroshima and Nagasaki commemoration not really then the war mongering world should know more about this term that is Hibakusha Hibakusha they are the living monuments of the world's first atomic war which was happened in August 6th and 9th in the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan the first ever place of atomic weapons in the world who these hibakusha are he in japanese means affected and baku means bomb and kusha means person a bomb affected person now today it means a survivor of an atomic catastrophe but living to the repercussions in their lives the literally living monuments There are 60,000 Ibakushas in Japan at some time in the past and still there are 147,000 living to tell us the tales of the deadly consequences of the atomic war. Never ending torments, never ending wounds in their bodies, cancer, brain damages, muscle dystrophies etc. These are the people who live in hell while they are still living in the world itself. Although the Japanese government take care of them by giving them special allowances and free medical assistances etc but who can share or bear their sufferings
and what they are pleading to the whole world is nothing but to stop using all the atomic weapon and destroy them completely as soon as possible for not to happen as what had happened to them great information harry thank you for sharing it with us i wish our world leaders and people around the world may hear it thank you tom thank you sanjana thank you sanjana and harry for your really informative discussion Abigail MS of class 8C is here with a speech in English. Good morning to one and all. I am Abigail MS of class 8C. I am here to share a few words on Hiroshima Day. Hiroshima Day commemorates 6th August 1945, the day when an atomic bomb named Little Boy was dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, followed by another atomic bomb named Fat Man. dropped on the city of Nagasaki on 9th August 1945 it is the only instance in human history where a nation used a nuclear weapon against another nation the bombings effectively ended the second world war by bringing about the surrender of japan but at a terrible price the two cities were destroyed and casualties mostly civilians was estimated around 200000 with many more people dying later from injuries and illness the bomb coded little boy destroyed 70% of the buildings of hiroshima and generation suffered due to the effects of radiation this suffering goes beyond the survivors future generations either born to the survivors or to the people living in hiroshima have increased chances to small brain sizes delayed development blindness increase susceptibility to leukemia and other cancers the bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki represent a human tragedy which should never be repeated the survivors of the bomb are called hibakusha in japan they have campaigned for many years to have the impact of nuclear weapons acknowledged they have educated generations on the subject a contributing factor to the growing international momentum focused on the humanitarian impact of these weapons 71 years ago the then president of USA Harry S Truman took the decision he decided to use nuclear weapons against Japan with whom they were at war a decision which annihilated thousands of people ironically in the name of saving thousands of lives from the unending war this incident shook the whole world and brought into light the terrible after effects of nuclear warfare today hiroshima day is a focus for anti war and anti nuclear discussions and demonstrations the collective vision hard work and dedication of the japanese people helped them to rise from the rubble and today japan is the world's third largest economy recognizing that there are enough weapons to destroy the planet Most of the nations have signed the non-proliferation treaty agreeing to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and to work together towards eliminating them. The NPT went into effect in 1970 but the number of nations with nukes has nearly doubled and there is still no time table to eliminate nuclear weapons. Fortunately, nuclear weapons have not been again used on civilians. but they continue to remain a constant threat thousands of nuclear weapons remain on alert ready to be launched at a moment's notice these could go off at any time by accident or at the hands of terrorists as we commemorate the bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki let's remember what a nuclear bomb can do and pledge towards working to ensure that no other city or town suffers this same pain and devastation this day is an opportunity to raise awareness about the threat of nuclear weapons and the dangers of nuclear energy this day reminds all of us the irony of killing thousands to save thousands war and its terrible destruction and today's growing need and importance for universal harmony and peace so friends let's all take a pledge that we will always work together to spread the message of mutual respect peace and harmony and will never endorse ourselves in any acts of violence
Thank you. Thank you, Abigail, for your amazing speech. We have one more talented poster designer, our student from class 10A, Steffi Sara J. Philip, with her poster. Thank you, Steffi, for your artistic talent. Before the cut and fall, we want to do something creative. Here comes Sreya Susan Philip for an old taking. We, the students of Marion Senior Secondary School, the students of Marion Senior Secondary School, on behalf of Hiroshima Nagasaki incident, on behalf of Hiroshima Nagasaki incident, do hereby solemnly pledge that, do hereby solemnly pledge that, we will not take any steps, we will not take any steps, which would harm, which would harm, our nation, our nation, or ruin its reputation, or ruin its reputation. We will promote a culture of We will promote a culture of non violence in our daily life. Non violence in our daily life and contribute and contribute developing a progressive country. Developing a progressive country. We shall work for promoting We shall work for promoting harmony. Harmony. Goodwill. Goodwill and peace in the world. And peace in the world. We would strongly stand by the we would strongly stand by the treaty on the prohibition, treaty on the prohibition of, nuclear weapons, of nuclear weapons or the nuclear ban treaty or the nuclear ban treaty is the first legally blinding is the first legally blinding international agreement international agreement to comprehensively prohibit to comprehensively nuclear prohibit weapons nuclear weapons with the goal of leading with the goal of leading towards the total elimination towards the total elimination thank you sreya for leading the oath and thank you to all the ones who took the oath. I think it's time to wind up our programs. Ever since 1945, the world has been commemorating Hiroshima and Nagasaki days around the globe threading Hibakushas. Our world leaders are still not ready to reduce or remove the atomic artilleries. What a paradox. COVID-19 is writing a new world order of living for all of us and along with commemoration of these days. I do hope that the world will be a better place to live on. Paying homage to the millions of people who died in those days and on behalf of we, the Marians, thank you very much for watching this program. Thank you. <laughs>